And that is how you make steak in a bowl. Wait a minute, this isn't the class I signed up for. What class is this? It's steak in a bowl class. What garbage is this? I was supposed to learn how to get the best gear ever. Who even are you? I'm your worstest enemy. No! Welcome everybody to a video that will show you where to get and how to get, see what I did there, the best armor and weapons in the Elder Scrolls Online. When most people buy an Elder Scrolls game, they immediately assume that, oh boy, I'm gonna craft the most bestiest armor and weapons that the game wants me. Well, after putting 200 hours into this game, I can say that I am no longer one of those people. But remember, when you're getting this new equipment, you need to realize that you are going to be constantly switching to the newest and the better. The game lets you level a lot faster than you might think, and your gear will get outdated almost as fast as my jokes do, so remember to actually keep upgrading your gear. Anyways, let me stop boring you with these words of lame, and let's get into this top 5 so that you can be the 5 million dollar man. Once again, there is no best way on this list, it's just a good old fashioned shopping list. Number 5. A lot of people think this when they approach a cavern. What does this cave have to offer me, the coolest level 5 to ever exist? And the problem here is that every single cavern will literally give you amazing loot. At the end of each cavern there is a boss, and if we gamers know anything about killing bosses, there's usually a pot of gold on the other side. Doing a cavern 20 levels above the recommended level really isn't gonna get anything for you. That's why I seriously recommend doing these caverns at the recommended level. Like why the heck not? You literally are going in, getting XP from killing the bad guys, leveling you up, and in the end you get cool gear! Number 4. Okay, this one you're gonna need a group for. Hopefully a group that's around your level as well. Why must I socialize with lesser and inferior people? Don't they know that I am the chosen one to hunt Molag Baal? Honestly, I have gotten amazing loot by killing through the hordes of enemies within these dungeons and then finally killing the big boss at the end which also gives you a ton of XP. Some dungeons have chests in them, and some don't, specifically for specific reasons, because there are lootable bosses. Never kill a boss and then automatically assume that they will not drop items. Sometimes the boss is the chest. Doing dungeons takes a bit longer than caverns do, but in the end, after all the effort put into getting the group together and doing the dungeon, you level up quite a bit, and the loot you get has a chance of being much more valuable. Number three. BECOME A WILDERNESS EXPLORER! Sometimes when I'm just roaming around the regions, I stumble across chests. Please don't ask me where to find the chests simply because they are everywhere. But they are also nowhere. As you explore at the recommended level, chests are a great source of wealth, potions, and gear. I still use my beautiful little gauntlet of the first titan that I found out of some random chest that some poor nerd forgot to bury. <laughs> Anyways, just remember to keep an eye open for chests, and do not ignore them when you see them. Opening these bad boys also levels up your thieving skills, so there is really no reason not to unlock them. Number 2. Have you ever seen a giant circle in the sky appear, and then all of a sudden a thousand anchors from death come down, and then there's lightning, and then there's monsters? Well, that's a dolmen. Okay, so once again, doing dolmens at the recommended level is important. If you don't, the loot just won't be worth it, or sometimes, if you're a high enough level, it won't even come. A chest will spawn after you fight this guy, and then this guy, ah, there's another guy right there, who is this? Wait, what is going on? And if you take too long, the chest will despawn, so loot it right away. Well, what kind of loot can you acquire from these so-called dolmens that you speak so freely about, Kevduit? <laughs> Whatever you are destined to get, okay? I got bread, and I ate that bread because that is what the chest commanded of me. The chest will give you random loot, but there's always a chance, a glimmer of hope, a light in the dark, that you will get some amazing items and gear. Number 1. What is this, Kevduit? A non-location? I'm out of here! This is not the class I signed up for! Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, this is valuable info. I'm listening. Okay, no this isn't really a location, but the thing is, you don't need a location to get the best armor. This way allows you to continue using your current armor and weapons, preferably your favorite ones, but at higher levels. Now, this does require you to have some upgrading materials, but that all depends on what you're wanting to do with the item. Are you wanting to put some enchantments on your weapon and armor? Well then I'd recommend finding a glyph that you might like to use, or creating your own specific glyph. Wanting to actually upgrade the quality of the item, which will literally make it more powerful and worth much more. Well then you're gonna need upgrading materials. People usually struggle with finding upgrading materials, but I found two great ways to get plenty of them, which you'll need plenty of them because if you don't, you have a chance of your item being destroyed in the process. 
which has happened to me too many times. Anyways, the first way I'd recommend getting these upgrading materials would be by the deconstruction of quality items, which are the items that have either green, blue, purple, or yellow text. By deconstructing these items, you have the chance of getting upgrading materials out of it, along with a few other sellable resources. This way is only used if that item is completely useless to you and you don't care about it at all. The second way is by acquiring the skills of hirelings. Drop some skill points into the hirelings passive skill and every 24 hours you will be brought resources, which will sometimes contain valuable upgrading materials. Now go to a crafting station and apply a full 100% of the upgrading materials to the weapon or armor you want to upgrade, because I have lost items even at the 90% mark. It is not worth the risk. So just apply 100%. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Number infinity. You didn't think this would appear, huh? You thought I would forget that the world would be safe. You know this tip is dangerous, and it can instantly kill you, deleting your character if you're not worthy. But I risk my life on it every day. The key to the best gear is to...